Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Tutorial. I am going to solve a numerical of static structural. For the three step bar shown in the figure, determine the displacement at nodes, stresses in the three sections and reactions at the ends. So here there are three step bar. This is the first one whose length is 80 mm. The material is aluminium. Young's modulus is given as 70 gigapascal and area is given as 900 mm square. For the second step bar, the length is given as 90 mm, material is brass, Young's modulus is 105 gigapascal and area is 400 mm square. For the third step bar, the length is 70 mm, material is steel, Young's modulus is given as 200 gigapascal and area is given as 200 mm square. Now the boundary conditions are given as both the ends are fixed and at the intermediate nodes, you can find a load of 20 kN and 10 kN. Now, since there are three step bar, I'll have one, two and three, three elements. Each element will be bounded by two nodes. Now, the method for marking nodes in FEA is that nodes are marked at the two ends, where the geometry starts and where it ends. At the two points, two nodes are to be marked. Wherever there is a change in geometry, a node has to be marked because at that point there will be a sudden change in stress, strain or deformation. So there will be a node marked at this point because there is a change of geometry. Also here there will be a change of geometry so you will have to mark a node here. So I have marked 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 nodes. Also there are some conditions like if there is a change in material from one to another, there a node has to be marked. You can see it is brass to steel, so a node is being marked. Also, if there is a sudden loading coming into picture, in that case, you need to mark a node. So, there are four conditions under which a node has to be marked in FEA method. First is at the two end points. Second, where there is a change in geometry. Third, where there is a change in material. And fourth, where there is a sudden loading coming into picture. Now, here at this junction, if you see at the node 2, there is a change in geometry, change in material or a sudden load coming into picture. So you don't have to mark three nodes, you have to just mark one node for it. But for all these conditions which I have said, a node is generally marked. Now here at node 2, three conditions are satisfied. Similarly at node 3, there are three conditions satisfied that is change in geometry, sudden loading coming into picture and also change in material. Now there is one small conversion I would like to bring into your notice. That is 1 gigapascal is 10 raised to 9 pascal and pascal is written as Newton per meter square. If I have to convert this into Newton per mm square, it will be 10 raised to 9 divided by 10 raised to 6. So it becomes 10 raised to 3. So this is all about the problem. We will start with the geometry wherein we will make these three step bars first. Now again the area is given as 900. The diameter is not given. If you want to consider the cross section as circle, you have to calculate the diameter. I don't want to calculate the diameter. I am going to directly assume that the cross section is rectangle. So in that case, area is 900. So I can say that it is a cross section of rectangle of 30 by 30 mm. Similarly, for the second one, I can say it's a rectangle of 20 by 20 mm. And for the third one, I can say it's a rectangle of 10 by 10 mm. So let's sketch it. Static structural. I'll rename as example 5, right click, new design modular geometry, I'll go to units, millimeter, xy, look at, I'll sketch a rectangle, dimension, 30 by 30. Extrude. The length is 80. Generate. I'll select the space. New plane. Generate. Look at. 
I'll draw a rectangle here whose dimension will be 20 by 20. Now I need to draw it at the center. I go to general this point to this height. Now this entire length over here is 30 and this length is 20. So what remains over here is 5 5. So I'll just mark this as 5. It will be at the center. Use horizontal option from this point to this line. This distance will be 5. So here my rectangle is exactly at the center. Now I will extrude. Apply. The length is 90 mm. From add material, I change it to add frozen. Generate. On this face, new plane, generate, look at. I'll draw a rectangle. Dimensions will be 10 and 10. Again, I need to mark the distance from this point to this line. Now, this height is 20. This is 10. So, this value has to be 5, 5 each. So, it's 5. Go to vertical. This point. And this line. The distance will be 5. So, this is exactly at center. Extrude. Apply. Distance is 70. Generate. So this is my geometry. This is exactly the way it is supposed to be. So I am done with my geometry. I will go to model. I will first align the body. I will assign material now. For the first solid, the material is aluminium 70 gigapascal. Now I need to allocate material. So I will come here, go to new material. Okay. I will go to engineering data sources, general materials. There is aluminium alloy. If you check its isotropic elasticity, Young's modulus, the value is 7.1 into 10 raised to 10. I want 70 gigapascal, so it's just close. Brass does not exist here. And structural steel is something which is already selected. For steel, Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 11. And what is given to me is 200 gigapascal. So it is fairly correct. So I can choose structural steel. I may choose aluminium or I may create a new material and I may write the Young's modulus as 70 gigapascal. Now brass is something which is not available here. So I will have to create the material of brass. I will just uh, uncheck engineering data sources. Here I will write brass. I will go to isotropic elasticity. The value is given to me as 105. E9. The value given is 105 gigapascal. And Poison's ratio is something which is very much compulsory. So, brass is a material which I have created. Now, steel is something which is already selected. So, I just need to click on aluminium alloy. So, I have bookmarked aluminium alloy. Structural steel was already a default material. And if you go back and check, brass is something which is already added. So these are the three materials right now in my project. I'll go back to project, update project. I'll go to solid. The first one is aluminium. Second solid 
is brass third solid i did not select because it is already structural steel so material allocation is done i'll go to mesh you can see a coarse mesh is already done by default i'll just change it to fine update i'll go to static structural i'll select this face right click insert fixed on this face right click insert fixed now on this faces this first face i'll have to if you see there is a load of 20 kN on this face and on this side there is a load of 10 kN i have to apply a load of 10 kN so i'll just suppress this body i'll go to static structural right click insert force it's along z direction 10 kN right click on suppress body select this body right click suppress body now you can select this face go to static structural right click insert force change the vector to component along z direction load is 20 kN so all the boundary conditions have been applied as you can see fixed fixed to force and force to i'll go to solution right click insert deformation directional along z direction right click insert strain right click insert stress right click solve i'll go to directional deformation to see the result as you can probe max min i can see the maximum minimum value here and by clicking on probe i can go to any phase and get the value there this is the value for elastic strain and these are the values obtained for equivalent stress you can solve this numerical by fea method and you can check the solution the answer of deformation stress strain at each node will be same now as per the question you have to calculate the reaction at the ends which is the load applied here and at this end you can see the value over here in z direction the value is minus 21.729 kN and the force reaction at this end is minus 8.271 kN so these are the answers of force reaction that i have got so these are the things which are asked displacement at node stresses i have also calculated the strain extra and the reaction at the ends so this is how you solve the numerical using ansys i hope you have understood this numerical try it once and if you find any difficulty do let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates of my videos see you in the next session with another numerical of static structural thank you